Kia ora. Welcome back to Sloan Ranger Studio. Today, we're painting one of the coolest Warhammer Fantasy characters ever. We're painting Gotrek. It's gonna be amazing. Alright, here he is in all of his glory. So he's got this kind of topless vibe going on, as all the Slayers did, I guess. Um, but he's got some amazing musculature and some good opportunities to show off some skin. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And first thing that we are going to be doing is base base coating all of his skin. And sorry, you'll notice I've given him a Xenothal, but we're, not, we're just ignoring that. I just thought a Xenothal would be a good way to show off the details on camera. But anyway, we're going to be base coating all of his skin in Doom Bull Brown because we want him to have quite a tanned skin. You know, he's been out in the sun, he's been out in the mountains, he's he's been all sorts of places, and his skin's going to be quite worn. So, just base coat all of his skin in Doom Bull Brown, and you know, maybe two thin coats as the old saying goes. All right, so there's our base coat of Doom Bull Brown. Next thing is going to be a thin layer of Bugman's Glow. You know named after obviously the dwarf bugman so you know it's good for dwarves so bugman's glow is a base paint but we're just thinning it down and you know quite transparent if you see it on my brush here what we're doing is we're just gonna pick out some parts on this chest well not too much on your brush there and much like we do when we're painting you know any kind of non-metallic or anything like that i'm pushing the paint up towards where i want it to be most concentrated and so this is too thin, <laughs> um, but yeah, do this a couple of times, and you know, kind of build up, build up this Bugman's glow color over top of this Doom Ball. And because it's thin and transparent, you'll see that you know we get that red coming through from the Doom Ball, which is what we want. So do this a couple of times, moving around all of the muscles and following the lines of the muscle. You know, it helps that Go Trick is so jacked. <laughs> so we can get a good sense of uh, you know the curves of muscles and also the curve of this impressive beer belly so yeah go around and um, you know push up some bugman's glow into your highlight areas and you know pick out areas on the face as well we can start doing that with the bugman's glow just you know things like his big nose and big cheekbone oh, out of focus yeah so start start moving around and picking out the highlight areas of your muscles Alrighty. So that ended up taking me two thin coats and in some places a, an extra coat uh, mainly on like this chest here because you know that's a quite a strong focal point is big strong barrel chest so the next step is 50 50 mix of bugman's and cadian flesh tone um thin it down like we did with the bugman's and you know oh <laughs> painting a skin tone over my skin for not going to help um you know this caucasian kind of skin and anyway so we're doing thin coats and you know in places like his hand you know we're just pulling the paint to where we want it to be brightest and in places like his chest it's the same thing we're just pushing it up to where we want our color to be brightest you know on the collarbone quite pronounced on him his bicep of course Pushing, pushing this paint up around these curves and really accentuating the the depth and you know bulbousness of his uh, his muscles here. So as we work our way around the mini, push that Cadian and Bugman's mix up into up into the highlights of the muscles, and we'll come back for the next step. Okay, now it's starting to look a little bit more fleshy. So. Next thing is take a little bit of Cadian just on its own, and if you've watched any of my non-metallic videos, you'll you could, you'll see some patterns in my process here, where I kind of mix 50/50 with the next thing, and then slowly add in the next thing, and so on and so forth. But anyway, we've got our thin Cadian, and what do you know? It's the same thing. We're just pushing it up and towards our high areas here, taking up a slightly less surface area with every step. And with every step it kind of gets a little bit more pale and that's what we want and you know on a miniature like Gotrek we want it to be quite dramatic so push this paint up into these raised areas here and if you ever you know like I just slipped just there 
you know that Doom Ball is our deepest shadow currently, so you can always just tidy up any blemishes with a bit of Doom Ball. And in saying that, you can always glaze back down a little bit of Doom Ball as well if you feel like it. If you feel like you've gone a little bit too bright and you're losing a little bit of that reddish pink tone in the skin, um, yeah, you can always glaze back down. So anyway, go around and add in this uh, thinned, thinned coat of Cadian. All right, next step is going to be mixing in some Kislev into our Cadian and thinning it down like we always do. Just following that same process. All right, I'll bring it into the center point. Following that same process, just pushing in this pail of paint up towards the top now. You now we're getting pretty, pretty high in our in our highlights now. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're kind of making sure that our surface area for these highlights is much smaller than the other steps. So do this all around, all around all these muscles and knuckles and his face and whatnot, and uh, we'll come back for the next step. All right, that skin tone's looking pretty good. We're up to some pretty final stages in our highlights now, but before we do that, like I was talking about before, how we love our drama, um, I'm gonna be glazing in just a little bit of really deep dark green um, well more of a blue really but into the shadows and so I'm, the color I'm using here is Incubi Darkness and it's very thin you know so I'm thinning it down quite a bit just the tiniest little bit on my brush and then just in the shadows just putting in a little bit of this very dark color just under under the pit here the recesses of the collarbone etc try not to let it pull but you know just just glaze in this very dark green and underneath these muscles here and you know as you can probably tell i don't know you can sort of see in the shadows of skin it gets quite you know it is quite dark and so this is the drama that i'm talking about achieving so glaze in this incubi darkness into these deepest recesses and you know feather it or you know however it however it works best for you but try and keep it smooth and then uh move around and do that across all of these recesses and it just builds up the depth of those shadows um and so when we come into our bright white highlights um you'll see that really exaggerated drama like he's you know sweating in the heat of battle with some sort of really dramatic lighting going on in the middle of some sort of epic scene you know what i mean you know those kind of fantasy novel covers um so that's what we're going to do now and so just work around and glaze in that shadow all right so i hope it didn't lose you there with that step i know it was a bit a bit of a curveball glazing in some you know <laughs> incubi darkness when you're uh, supposed to be doing flesh just noticed i could probably put a bit more into this area here because it's quite quite in shadow but anyway the next step is to get Kislev on its own nice and thin and now you know we're we're right at the top of our of our musculature now so just pushing it into these very top parts we're starting to see quite a quite a uh, transition between those deep blues and these bright kind of yellowish skin tones so go around and you know same sort of technique that we were doing with the other steps but this time just a much smaller surface area you know really kind of pulling out those top top parts of the muscle all right the drama in that skin tone is almost complete we've just got one little thing we want to do and that is push that highlight right up make it look like there's a really strong light casting down on Gotrek. So I'm mixing in quite a bit of white into my Kislev. And I'm thinning it down quite a bit. And then just, just along the very top of these muscles, I'm just putting in a little bit of white. Well, this very white tone here, you can see. It just helps it pop right up around this like really generous curve of the belly here. Yeah. 
So go around and kind of add in this little thin line just around the just around the very tops of the muscles. Make it look like there's just like this really bright line or a bit of a bit of a sheen on his sweaty, hard working muscles. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. So go around and do that, and we will be done. All right, and there we have it. Here is Gotrek in all of his beautiful skin-colored glory. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. You know, I think that that achieved that drama that we were talking about. You know, I think there's a lot of contrast in the skin, and the shadows are very rich. You know, there's there's more than just your typical skin tones in there, which you see in a lot of Caucasian skin schemes, which is usually just sort of pinks and oranges, you know. Introducing a bit of blue and green in the shadow there was quite nice, and, you know, a bit of bright white in the highlight there, and, you know, I pulled out his eye there, and that makes him pop a lot more as well, makes him feel a bit more human. Or dwarf. Dwarden. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. I hope you liked it. I hope it wasn't too tricky to follow. I know skin can be quite intimidating, but... You know, breaking it down into some digestible steps and hopefully seeing how I apply the paint helps. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments anyway and let me know what you want to see next on GoTrek. You know, maybe it's the beard, maybe it's his pants. I'm thinking some classic striped pants, eh? Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. And of course, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks.